just a random somebody. Been, oh man, now they're possessed. And we know, oh man, that's how it happens. No, it happens because they give it in an hour. You know. That's why Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Wow, because they were in the synagogue saying. <laughs> and he said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. Because a little leaven leaveneth the whole what? The lump. The lump. Sure Who's the lump? Oh. We're a lump of clay. Yeah. Leaveneth the whole loaf too. We're the lump that that leaven, doctrine, false doctrine, Satan's doctrine, gets in and does what to us? It puts infirmity in our spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, and then it starts affecting us. I'm not kidding you. Opens the door for all wisdom. Just for an example. Acts chapter 2, many people have taken out of the Bible. That was for them back then. We're not to be filled with the power of the, God, of the Holy Spirit, baptized with the Holy Spirit and filled with the power of God anymore. God doesn't do spiritual gifts anymore. He doesn't have spiritual gifts anymore. Those visions, who would say that? Who's trying to, who's trying to squeeze the vision out and cut the vision and cut your dreams off and cut your calling out? Who is it? Is, is it Leviathan? Who does he speak to in the church? The spirit of divination and python. Are we learning something yet? <laughs> that spirit of divination and python has been behind the pulpit cutting the children of God off. And people are listening to that, receiving it in their heart, believing that mess, and it's getting in there and it's limiting the power of God in their lives and Satan is taking over. Serious. They got no power in their life. They don't believe this anymore. They're cut off and they're listening to doctrine that is false and guess what's going in? It continues to go in and year after year after year it's going to affect the spirit of the mind. It will. It really will. Yes, sir. And then when Satan attacks, like I told you, he attacked me with those panic attacks. Mm -hmm. If I would have believed there was no power in God anymore, I, they'd be cutting my chest open by now. Because they'd have told me I had blockage and everything else. I kid you not. And if I had sit there in that old nasty doctrine and believe that old trash that was being taught in many, many, many churches that God doesn't heal anymore. He has no power. He does not baptize in the Holy Ghost anymore. And that leaven would have been in me I'd let them doctors be fooling with me. And I'd probably be a junkie right now. I'd be on Ativan. I'd be on Paxil. Synthroid. And it'd probably be up about 10 more milligrams each year. And I'd be taking a handful. And I'd be trying to preach you. Woo! All right. Open up to Acts chapter 16. <laughs> Serious. Or, matter of fact, I'd probably be climbed up in my house and wouldn't come out and be a hermit that I was before. And never preach to anybody. Because I'd be messed up on drugs. Seriously. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We must believe the whole counsel of God and let that old leaven leave us. Because when we let that leaven come in, here comes the enemy with it. Because she was going to the synagogue to feed on what they were saying. Mm. She was hungry. She wanted the word. There's many people hungry. But they're going to the wrong places to be. Yep. Amen. Jesus was telling this the whole, all the way through the Gospels, from Matthew to John. You will see, he was trying to tell them, I'm the door. I, I, I'm the place where they find good pasture. Yes, I'm the door where, where, where the sheep can come in. It was, he didn't say the synagogue was the door. Uh -uh. The People door. have done the same thing today with many, many, many different... That was just an example. There's many, 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 many doctrines that cause the enemy to slip on into the mind and poison the whole system. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Of course, it also works the other way. If you're in the world dibbling in witchcraft, if you're really messing with witchcraft and you're trying to curse people and you open them books up and you say them chants, guess what's coming in? Mm -hmm. This thing's coming in. Why? Because you're feeding your spirit this stuff. The spirit of the mind, you're feeding on it, you're chanting yoga. Yoga's a good one. Boy, that song gun, everybody thinks it's an exercise. You <laughs> actually get into position and say certain things and chant and do many things that it tells you to do, but how they worship their false spirits. And they got it in the church today. Yep. Church yoga. They call it Christian yoga. And the, the yogis over there laughing at us in, in, in India going, there ain't no such thing as Christian yoga because that's our religion. The reason why we get in those positions is to worship Shiva and Shiva. You've seen that thing with the arms everywhere? I don't know, about eight arms. It's blue or purple or whatever. Got a dot on his head. That's that false god yoga is worshiping. So guess what's going to come in? One of these.
Holy Spirit, Spirit of Python. Revelation is going to come on in. Everybody's like, no way, I'm a Christian. Like I've told you before. There are many, many, many chambers to the temple of God. You've got the outer court, the inner court, the holy place, and the holy of holies. And you've got to be careful what you let in your chambers. You've got to be careful what you let inside. Mm -hmm. Because it may not be able to get in that holy of holies because you've got the Holy Spirit, the strong man. But when you're continuing to watch these things on TV, continue to let this stuff in by movies, continue to let this stuff in by false gods, continue to let this stuff in by false programs, continue to let a psychiatrist tell you certain things, continue to go into these things with the spirit of the mind, these things come into the outer court, they move on into the inner court, they get up in the Holy of Holies, and then they try to block your access to you speaking to God. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Amen. You see what I'm saying? It's true. I mm -hmm. promise you, I've been studying on this and praying about it. I said, how in the world are these people receiving these things? And he said, it's, it's coming in through the leaven. And we got so much of it today coming across the media. Mm -hmm. Who controls the media? The demon spirit of divination. Who controls the entertainment field? Whether it be songs, whether it be movies, whether it be on the TV or sitcoms or whatever, they're putting all that. Why do you think all of a sudden the homosexual thing is just blown up? And They've been doing this for 45 years. Yep. That's right. Sure have. Yeah. The spirit of divination is coming in and just a little bit more. There used to be an epithet thing, a soap opera called Soap back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And they tried to put one in there, kissing a the man in there, and it wasn't, it was rejected. And then Ellen came along in the 90s. And then it was a little bit more accepted. And it kept on suddenly. That serpent subtle. And now, they're normal, we're not. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. They got more rights than we got. Really? Yeah. They're in the Supreme Court right now right. trying to see if they're going to have more rights than we got. Right. And it's going to get worse. Jesus said, such as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the return of the Son of Man. How true is the statement of our Lord and Savior. Amen. And we're like, it can't get that bad. Oh, it's not gotten that bad. That's right. And it come in through what? These spirits. That's why we study these things. Many people say, I don't want to study about that. We need Amen. 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 So we can discern what is good and what is evil. Now we may look at something and kind of look at it and say, oh, no, that's wrong. But there's some things that we think are right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. There are some things that we think are right that are not right. Amen. Or they wouldn't, people wouldn't be sitting in churches listening to certain doctrines that are not right, but they think they're right and they're nodding their head and they're saying amen. The whole town is of the spirit of Python and divination because man, whose number is six, six the same number as the beast, beast, has been teaching his doctrines in the church and falling it through people's heart, and now it's in the holy place. 